Hi everyone, it's Neve here from the Mama's Hip blog. I'm just doing a quick um, little tour of my dressing table to show you. I recently fixed it up and I've rejigged all my makeup storage and gotten rid of a whole heap of stuff that I wasn't using that I was kind of hoarding for the last few years. So um, I'm really happy with the way I've pared down my makeup collection and I'm excited about the way I have it stored as well. And I just wanted to share it with you in case it will give some of you ideas. Um, on how to store your makeup and jewellery and stuff and I also wanted to say that this is the area that I come to just relax and chill out now this is somewhere I can come and paint my nails get a few minutes away from the kids and just take some time for me to pamper me um, I get I really enjoy coming here in the mornings and getting ready for the day ahead doing my makeup and I really enjoy in the evenings cleaning my face off and getting my hair ready for bed and just basically taking a bit of time to reconnect with me. So I'll just show you an overview of the dressing table itself. Here you go. Um, it's got a vintage mirror there. I got that in a car boot sale or a charity shop for about four euros a few years back. And I really like it. Um, the dressing table itself came from, let's close this to show you, came from a fair, it was 25 euros. And there's also a three drawer, a chest of drawers to match it. It's over the other side, but I'm not showing you because it's messy. Um, this area here lights up. When we first got it, there's a switch over at the side and the whole thing there lit up. There's a kind of a strip bulb inside, but the electrics went. So I really want to get that sorted and use it again because it looks gorgeous in the evenings. I light a few candles just to chill out and make the place look nice. I picked this up in a charity shop, it's a clothes brush, seems to be from the 50s and I just think it goes with it. So I have a few perfumes over there, a few little knick-knack box, knick -knack boxes and trinkets. And then this is where I store my makeup brushes, they are just in a load of vintage glasses. I used to use this for candles so that's a bit of wax in there. And I picked these up for like 50 cent each in some charity shop. That's an also a candle holder there, it's a glass one. Here's a little mirrored box, and that's where I keep my cotton stuff. This is a hand mirror again, charity shop find, about two euro I think, I think that's lovely. And I've got a couple of little tins here, they've nothing in them yet, but I just really like the look of them. Then in the top drawer I've got my, oh I'll just give you a, a quick look here, I've got a bin. That's a new bin from TK Maxx, that was 8 99 yesterday. This is where I keep my nail varnishes in this vintage case. So that just slides in underneath, that's really handy. And this box was $12.99 in TK Maxx yesterday and that's where I keep my hair dryer, my heated rollers and spare makeup bags and stuff that I'm not using. So top drawer is makeup and second drawer is costume, jewellery and hair. So I'll just show you really quickly. I've got these, um, what are they called, cutlery holders. They were a couple of euro each. I've got two of those. That houses all my eye stuff, mascaras, shadows and stuff. Um, then I've got the second one, which is for my foundations, concealers, blushers and bronzers and a few palettes. Over here is a bit more random. I've got two big palettes at the, palettes at the back. Um, my lip products all fit into this little box. Wow, that's amazing because I used to have like three times that amount, but it was all old manky stuff. Here's my skincare stuff that I use at the moment. Um, here are my moisturisers and then my oil and my water that I use to cleanse my face at night and my lip products there. And here's a little hairband I put on to keep my hair back at night. And in the second drawer I've got a green cutlery holder and that's for all my jewellery. It's all just plasticky stuff and I basically wear none of it except for some of these bracelets sometimes. I'm really not a jewellery person. But I'm hanging on to all these old belly bars and stuff just as a reminder of the kind of jewellery I used to wear, I suppose. Um, of my batistes here. I do tend to stockpile these because I find I go through them quite fast. I only get a couple of weeks out of each one. And um, I, I don't want to run out, so I always buy a few at a time. My matches are here and I've got incense in there and a little incense holder. And here is my hairbrushes a silk flower there and then in here I've got my hair styling wand that's in its case in there I rarely use that 
And then I really love these tins. I picked these up in TK Maxx again yesterday. These are a set of um, Hello Kitty by Liberty tins. And these have got my hair clips and hair bobbins and stuff in them. So, there you go. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of my makeup and hair stuff. Um, I will see you again. I'm going to do a skincare routine video again soon because I have changed my skincare routine a bit and I'm using some nice products that I've just discovered and I've made my own stuff as well. So thank you and please check my blog, themamashipblog.com for more information. Bye!